like to welcome you to Cornerstone Baptist tonight. We are glad that you are here with us, and we are going to go ahead and get started. We have a program for you called Call Him Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray, and we'll go ahead and get the services started. Dear God, we thank you for today. We just uh, thank you for the opportunity to hear from you tonight uh, in song. I just pray that you will help us to understand the reason uh, that we celebrate Christmas. God, it's for uh, Emmanuel, it's for Jesus, God with us, that we can uh, be here tonight. And not just him coming down and being born in a stable, God, but that he eventually dies for our sins and pay that uh, price for us. God, I just pray that you'll help us to be attentive to what you have for us tonight. Lord Jesus' name, amen. Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth 
to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Centuries before, the prophet proclaimed, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. For with God nothing shall be impossible.
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was in the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end.
my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arms and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with the young. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. Thank you. 
when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when he had found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to that light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Which when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. The same was in the beginning with God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and of truth. The stars you made were shining. Would you choose to leave the splendor of your heavenly home? Your coming seems to us so odd, the precious holy Lamb of God, wrapped up in human flesh appear, bringing us one. Beginning. 
Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and of things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Joshua, the narrator, amen, and the piano players. Call him Jesus is something that Gabriel told to Mary and to Joseph. You're going to have a child and you're going to call his name Jesus. The wise men came, the shepherds came, and they called him too Jesus. As we hear on a Sunday night, the question still rings out, what do you call him? Do you call him Jesus? Do you call him the Lord of your life, the mighty counselor, the prince of peace, is he really, truly God, Jesus, the Savior of all mankind? Is he your Savior tonight? Do you truly call him Jesus? As we um, reflect upon this Christmas season, let's ever be remindful to call him Jesus, for he is the reason of the season. For without him, we would not have presents, we wouldn't have Christmas trees, 
wouldn't have any of that. It's because we call him Jesus. And the fact that he came to die, I mean, he was came to born, he was came to be born, but only to die on the cross for my sins and for your sins. We call him Jesus for a reason. And the question still rings out, do you call him Jesus? Amen. At this time, we're going to come and I'm going to bring it over to my dad, and he is going to um, have an offering. But before we do that, um, let's go ahead and just um, close in a word of prayer, and then I'll give it over to my dad. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for all you've done for us. Thank you so much for all the time and the effort um, that was put into this performance tonight. We pray, God, that you bless it and that you uh, give us extra special blessing for the ones that came and just worked so tirelessly for everything that they um, did tonight. Just thank you so much, God, that you're the reason for this season. And thank you so much, God, that you're the reason, God, we have Christmas. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Before we um, take the offering, we just want to remind you, back in the back by the double doors, there are is the Christmas tree back there. And um, there's names on there for the bus ministry. If you feel so led and you're able to do so, please take one of those cards. And there's some presents and things that some kids in the bus ministry need. So if you'll take care of that. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the Lord. In prayer for the offering, after that, do you have a presentation that you want to do? Then after pastor's done, Brother Phil has a presentation. Can you just finish me up, okay? Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for this day. Thank you for this presentation of the gospel tonight. We thank you for Jesus who came into the world to save sinners. And, Lord, I just pray that, again, if there's anybody here tonight who doesn't know Christ as Savior, that they would receive him tonight. Heavenly Father, as we take up this offering, we thank you that you gave your life, and, Lord, we can never get back, give back to you what you've given to us. But, Lord, help us to be faithful in our tithes and offerings, Lord. I pray that you'll bless this offering now, pressing Christ's precious name. Amen. tried to recognize special things with some of our church members. And one of those things is uh, when they celebrate their 50th anniversary. That's quite a landmark in this day and age. Recently, we discovered that we had a couple that we didn't have their anniversary date in our computer system. And uh, it was added. And I'm not going to tell you how late because we're terribly late with this one uh, because of that. But we did want to recognize them and let them know a beautiful plaque that we like to give uh, to each of them. And so uh, I'll just have them stand. I'll bring the plaque to them, and then we'll turn it over to Mr. Woods. But I'd like to have uh, Kay and Tal Turner stand. I don't know. Uh, if you want to ask them how, how many years is it, I'll just tell on us. 53, so we're only three years late. That's not too bad. Okay, 
And so uh, congratulations. Give them a hand, would you? I have the privilege of representing the choir and the orchestra tonight. And I'd like to have Karen and Kathy and Joshua come up here, please. I know you don't want to, but that's not the point. <clears throat> um, I have done cantatas and programs before, and I know the hundreds of hours that's put into these by, by the people that lead. Karen leads the, the orchestra and works with them extra. Kathy just practicing, and Joshua and everything that he does. Many of you don't know half the things that he does around here, um, even jogging through the building, so be careful whenever he's around by him. <laughs> but um, the choir wants to present to them just a little token of our appreciations for them and for what they do, and uh, we are very grateful to them, so we want to say thank you. All right, and it's my joy to be able to dismiss you, so uh, have a safe evening, a safe travel home. <laughs>